What is going on YouTube? Uh, it's Black Bigelow here today and uh, kind of an advice video for you guys. Um, so we got a question I, we're gonna ask. Uh, do you wanna live in a van? If you wanna live in a van, that's probably why you're watching this video or you're a fan of my channel or whatever. So today we're gonna talk about vans and uh, what vans to live in, what vans to buy. Do you really wanna live in a van? I'm gonna give you advice for me. I've been living in a van slash trailer setup uh, for uh, <laughs> like eight years now. Fucking it. Where did the time go? Where did the time go? So we're gonna break it down like this. Now, you're probably a single guy. Maybe you're young, maybe in your 20s, you've been thinking about living the van life, or you could be a woman, uh, maybe in your 30s or whatever, you're thinking about living the van life, so forth and so on but you're just not quite sure about what kind of van you should buy, you know, and what your needs are. So it kind of depends on what your needs are, what you need the van for. I'm assuming that most, if not practically all of you out there that, you know, have thought about this life or maybe you want to do this life, I'm imagining you guys are broke because I'm not. I don't know what that feels like anymore. And it's a wonderful feeling. But let's just say that you are broke, because I believe you guys are, how like I was back in the day. Now, I am a I am a fatter person. You know, I'm a big guy. I don't know if you guys demand a bigger van, but me personally, the van that you should live in or start your journey out living in is definitely a minivan. Preferably a Chrysler or Dodge Grand Caravan Town & Country. They're the same thing. You want to start off with a small Dodge Grand Caravan minivan. Preferably the motor with a 3.8. And I'm going to tell you why. Because number one, nobody wants a minivan. Because they suck, they're stupid, they're small, they're gay. Or as other people call them, they're Lamont. And nobody really wants them and they're, and they're really inexpensive. You can get a Dodge Grand Caravan, preferably look only for the years 2003 to 2008. Keep it right there. 2003, 2008. Uh, just stay right there. Don't get a 2009 or 2010 uh, Grand Caravan because those newer models, like when they change the style, they kind of come up fucked up after a certain, uh, certain amount of years until they kind of rectify the situation. Right now, you can get on Craigslist or if you go to Facebook Marketplace, you can buy a Dodge Grand Caravan with under under 150,000 miles for probably about $3,000. And that van, if you take care of it, it's going to last you quite a long time. I have 352,000 miles on this van. I just had the uh, a couple of gaskets replaced right now. I had the radiator flushed and uh, I put a new alternator in a couple months ago and uh, I think I, did some, I fixed a couple of leaks. But other than that, I've, you know, this van has been very, very good to me. So you're going to want to start off with a minivan. Um, they are, surprisingly, they're more roomy than you think. A lot of people see a minivan and they're like, oh, I can't sleep in that. That's too small. No. It, 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 unless, unless, you're a, uh, unless you're a giraffe, you're going to be fine sleeping in a minivan. I mean, I'm 299 pounds and I do just fine sleeping in the back of this bad boy right here. You know what I mean? Let's say you got... A little bit of money let's say that you're not broke like how i used to be how you are now and let's say you got a little bit of money to play with i'm gonna say it like this me personally when it comes to a full-size van i don't know a whole lot i just bought a full-size van about a month ago i'm still not driving it yet because i'm weird i don't know it's kind of want to go down with the ship you know what i mean but um i got a ford econoline with the uh the 350 i got it i got an e350 with the 57 it's, um, I've looked it up online, you know, researching vans. Um, it's the best, uh, car, full size cargo van ever made. Uh, those engines, uh, you can put a million miles on it. And I do plan on putting quite a number of miles on that van. I was looking for a Chevy express, but that's just me. I'm going to say it like this guys. If you're looking to live in a van, you're going to see a lot of these punk ass YouTubers they're in these stupid ass big vans. They're in these fucking Pro Masters. They're in these fucking. <laughs> they're in these fucking transits. They're, they're in these uh, sprinters. You know, and they, yeah, sure you can walk around with a lot of head. 
that's great to be able to walk around in your van. But let me just tell you this. Those vans right now, because Amazon and, 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 and FedEx, and UPS, they're buying up all these vans. That's why they're so expensive right now. You go look right now, whatever city you are in, go look on Facebook Marketplace, go look on Craigslist right now. A fucking Dodge Promaster that has 100,000 miles on it. 2017, 2018, it doesn't matter. It's at least $35,000, okay? That is ridiculous to pay $35,000 for a fucking van. That is crazy. Honestly, to tell you the truth, all you need is $3,000. Give yourself 3,000 bucks, get a minivan. You wanna buy a Sienna, a, a Grand Caravan, uh, whatever. 3,000 bucks, get yourself a, a, a minivan, get yourself you know, a, a roof cargo top for extra room or get like a back um, hitch carrier thing and you're good to go. That's all you need. You know, if you want a full size van, I would tell you like this, I wouldn't personally, I wouldn't spend more than $5,000. For under $5,000, you can still buy a full size cargo van. You just, you know, you really gotta look and it's gonna be older but if you get if you get a Ford Ford Econoline, you know that I've, 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 that's what I've always heard. Stick with a Ford Econoline, you can never go wrong with that van. You can find one for five thousand dollars. But let's say you got ten grand. Let's say you got ten thousand dollars, which to me is pocket change. <laughs> ten thousand dollars. You can get yourself a really really good van for ten thousand dollars. You can get a van. You can get a mid nineties, late nineties. Ford Econoline, Chevy Express, whatever it is. But me personally, I'm gonna end the video like this because I'm almost at eight minutes now, which you know, command me two commercials, which means more money, more money, more money. That's what I would do. I would get a minivan. That's all you need. You don't need these fucking full-size dumbass vans. So they're just a scam and it's a ripoff, okay? Anybody that wants to live the van life, you don't need an RV. That's what you do. You start off with a minivan and you go from there. And listen, sometimes the minivan, you get tired of it. You know what I mean? I've been in this van now since freaking January. Am I getting tired of it? No. I, I The first month or two, I was like, damn, this sucks. I'm back in here. You know, because I'm used to having my trailer, having a table, having a bed, having, you know, power and everything. You know, back in the minivan, but this is where I started off in. So it looks like I will be in this minivan for the summer until I just, you know, save effort uh, and uh, I go, you know, get my van, get my trailer and maybe have it built out and take it from there. But just to let you guys know, give you a little bit of advice. You don't need a full size van to do van life. That is bullshit. That is horseshit. You don't need it. All you need is $3,000. Get yourself a minivan, take the seats out, put a, you could put a full size bed back there. And just, you know, get yourself like the, a, a top or get yourself a, a hitch, you know, so you can put your more stuff away. I'm telling you, it's more roomier than you think. And a minivan is not that much smaller than a than a, a, a mid-size, uh, full-size cargo van. I'm telling you. you hey, listen, I, I'm an expert. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. I think I'm going to make more videos like this. I need to make more videos about the van life and about telling you guys, uh, like, what to expect and, and, you know, where to sleep and... So leave a comment below. Tell me, like, where do you, what do you want me to talk about when it comes to van life? I, I really think I got to educate you assholes because I think a lot of you, you, you nut busters out there really don't know what you're doing. And you're watching these freaking creeps. You know, you're watching these people with RVs, with diabetes, with one leg, and they're complaining about their life and they're living in a desert, you know, Bob Wells. He's, he, actually, I, I'll say this. He is, he is very good for information. I, I will give it to him. You know, you know, I, I don't ever give people kudos because they all suck. But Bob Wells, he's all right. All right, guys, I got to go. I, I, I haven't eaten in uh, 15 hours. I'm sorry. All right, peace out.